come back out and do this and, and play these songs. This is the seven. This is the seventh show that I've done. And uh, they said that I'd never walk again, but I walked out here tonight and they said. Yeah. They said, they said I'd never be able to play this guitar again, but I'm playing it. And they said I'd never be able to remember the words of my song, but I'm remembering it. And they said that I would never be able to write songs again, but I've written a lot of them. Anyway, I want to tell you a little bit about the wreck. I don't really know what happened. I, I have to tell you the truth. I, I never heard anything. I never seen anything. I, it took them two and a half hours to cut me out of the car. And uh, I was in a Suburban, and the 18-wheeler T-boned me into the side. And I had a cracked vertebrae in my back. I had a cracked ribs, a collapsed lung, uh, six-gauge stitches in my head. My beard was cut off by the steering wheel and the... Uh, and the uh, From Cheryl, from my wife to me. So I'd like to say what you said. Captain Redneck Country Boy. He can't hear me. Captain Redneck Country Boy. Anyway, I, I, I feel the same way about you, Mike. We just long hard red country boy long. She said, Tell him he's doing it. All the things that they said he couldn't do, Redneck he's doing That's the first thing my wife said to me when I came through after a very long ordeal. She said, we're going to be okay. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for coming to see me here this evening and uh, supporting David Alco and, and standing by. So all you people that wrote letters to my wife and, and helped her get through this traumatic experience that she's had taking care of me uh, from the trauma center on. Uh, I really appreciate everybody that was there for her. I, I just wish some more of my relatives would have been there for her. Uh,
Yeah. 